Good morning all, John with Rep Reserver Land here. So this will be part two of my cross country overland adventure. Day nine technically. Uh, yesterday afternoon I left northern Wisconsin, Three Lakes to be specific, uh, around 2 p.m. Um, Central Time and started driving south uh, all the way through Milwaukee, through Chicago, and I am currently in Indiana, um, just outside of Bloomington. So far I've traveled 3,434 total miles from San Diego to where I currently stand, and 62 hours of drive time. So uh, here's my campsite for night one. We're currently day two of this second leg of the trip, but more to follow. Left my campsite in Indiana, drove southeast all day through the Appalachian Mountains to my destination of Charlotte, North Carolina. After beating the heat and the humidity, we left North Carolina and drove three hours south to our second destination on the East Coast. Charleston, South Carolina.
left South Carolina and drove south to Savannah, Georgia, where I had some delicious seafood and a dip in the Atlantic Ocean before heading to my campsite in Georgia. Scene here. Departed my campsite in Georgia in the Chattahoochee National Forest and made my way to Alabama where I found an amazing recreation area just outside of Jasper.
aftermath of the recovery. I thought I'd be able to get up on a more solid ground over here and spin around, but it turned out to be this soft clay even up there. It's not dried enough in order to gain traction, so I actually had to use the max tracks to back myself out enough to then hook up the winch and turn the vehicle around. So you can see, uh, lesson learned here, this was pushing sideways on the tire. Um, I had to do something to, to flip it around, but ideally you don't want to put that kind of stress on any wheel. Uh, luckily it just slid right over the top here, but I should have been in the vehicle, turned the steering wheel um, this particular time. But overall, damage free. Rope's a little, uh, little worn down after this recovery, so I might have to replace my my winch rope, but that's minor for being able to get out of here. Gotta clean off my max tracks and hit the road. Well, quite the debacle to get to the Mississippi. Straight up mud, clay back there, so my tires were just spinning. I had to do a 30 minute recovery just to get spun around and get out of this mud bog. It's interesting, right up here, it's all sand, and then transitions to that, that mud, which is unfortunate. But, you've seen it, you conquered, press. Left the Mississippi River and made my way north to the I-40 and started heading west, leaving Arkansas in the rearview mirror and stopped at a KOA site just outside of Oklahoma City. All right, so I stayed at a KOA because I was Getting pretty tired, it was 3 a.m. pushing on the highway. So pulled over in Oklahoma, stayed in that KOA, but then woke up, spent the full day on the road, and ended up in northern New Mexico in the mountains. Hey guys, I'm gonna give you a walk around of the campsite here in the mountains in northern New Mexico. We've got the Jeep set up. All I have to do is pop the roof nest. And I've got the grill preheating. This has got to be the best piece of gear that you can get from Walmart. 15 bucks. It's got the adjustable chain, so you can, depending on if you stoke your fire too much and you still want to cook over it, um, it allows you to get just the, the perfect amount of heat. But I'm going to get cooking. So for tonight, we've got some flank steak, Tupperware to store the extras, cutting board to cut said flank steak, tortillas in order to have said tacos. The only thing I'm missing is my hot sauce, which I'll go grab. Oh, look at this dog. Nope. Nope. Diego. Add a little bit of seasoning, give it a little pat, flip, add some more seasoning, out, Zeus.
Oh, look at that. Here we go. Lower the globe. Someone will get that reference. And I like to give it a little spin. Beautiful. I gotta add some uh, wood to the fire, but we'll have steak before we know it. I think she's ready, boys and girls. All right, guys. Stick taco number one. I'm gonna add the El Yucateco, king of flavor since 1968. But I'm gonna enjoy my first taco and sit by the fire. It's, it's worth mentioning. I am in the middle of nowhere by myself. Luckily I have the dogs for company, but this entire trip has been by myself, alone to my thoughts about my successes, my failures. I think, I think that's why I like coming out here, especially alone. Just do some soul searching. There are a few times at the beginning of this trip, I know I mentioned I was worried about bears. There's been some nights where I've heard some freaky sounds in the woods. So much so that it wasn't, wasn't even conducive to having a fire, cooking dinner. I just pulled into a camp spot. Uh, I think there was boar where I stayed in South Carolina. There was a wild boar making some noises. And I definitely didn't want Zeus or Diego, my doggies, to come in contact with the wild boar. Um, so I put them up in the tent, crawled up there myself, and went to bed. So a lot of, a lot of time on the road, over 110 hours so far in the cockpit of White Fang. My uh, 2019 Jeep Wrangler JLUR.
It was hard to say goodbye, but I had to continue north to meet up with my grandparents for the 4th of July. Drove north to Green River, Wyoming, where I met up with my grandparents and led them south to the Flaming Gorge Recreation Area where we camped on the 4th of July. What's going on guys? I am here on July 4th, two days shy of a full month on the road in White Fang. And I'm here with my grandparents, Oma and Opa, who live up in Three Lakes. But we found a pretty nice spot just in southeastern, or excuse me, southwestern Wyoming, called the Flaming Gorge Recreational Area. And it's pretty nice. Good piece of gear, as previously stated. What was that, Oma? What animals are you worried about? Bears that eat your garbage. <laughs> There's no bears. There's no bears in the desert. Is there anything? Jackrabbits. Mm. Oma, what do you think about my month on the road? I think it's amazing. How many people get to do that and you did it? Did you get lonely? Did you? What did you do then? I hugged Zeus tighter. <laughs> did you call anybody or anything? I didn't have service a lot of Oh yeah, I bet you really, It was an amazing trip and you gotta take it when you're young. You probably gotta take it when you're single, you know. So you did it. It's just, I mean, what you did is really great. You'll remember it forever and ever. What do you think of this place? Oh, this is awesome. I mean, this is spectacular. And we're all by ourselves. To wrap up my trip, I said goodbye to my grandparents in Wyoming and headed southwest to Moab, Utah, of which I had never been before, for my final day on the road. Good morning guys, it is day 30, it's July 6th, I left on June 6th for this month long cross country overland expedition, covered so far 7,500 miles, 115 hours in the cockpit of White Fang, and I've seen some amazing sights along the way, but currently in Moab, Utah. good view huh but from here we'll head back to home base which is San Diego and plan our next excursion but thanks for joining us